A no-go theorem by Matthew Pusey, Jonathan Barrett, and Terry Rudolph received a lot of attention in the physics community and in some popular publications. But there seems to be some misunderstanding about what their no-go quantum theorem is actually supposed to be proving. At first glance, it seems one can tell what their theorem is supposed to be proving simply by the title of their paper, which was, the quantum state cannot be interpreted statistically. But what is actually going on is not so straightforward as that. It must be understood that the PBR theorem is not arguing against the Born rule, which would not be logical in the context of quantum mechanics, since the Born rule is a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics. The theorem is also not trying to prove that quantum mechanics is deterministic or non-probabilistic. What the PBR quantum theorem is trying to prove is that a particular interpretation of the wave function is not possible. This interpretation is sometimes called the Bayesian interpretation, which is a form of PSI epistemicism that holds the wave function to be a realist state of knowledge rather than a realist state of reality. A little background is in order to better understand the situation. There are basically three main or popular positions on the wave function. The first is realist PSI epistemicism. This position holds that there is a real physical or quantum state, but the wave function only describes or represents a state of knowledge. The wave function is not a direct representation of some given physical reality or quantum state. The second position is what can be called anti-realist PSI epistemicism and is somewhat akin to instrumentalism but isn't instrumentalism. This position holds that the wave function is just a useful mathematical tool for making calculations or predictions and there is no real underlying physical reality or quantum state that it describes or represents. And the third position can be labeled PSI ontologist. This position holds that the wave function is a state of reality and not simply a subjective state of knowledge, that the wave function is a direct representation of a real underlying quantum state. The PBR theorem is trying to prove that the first position is wrong or untenable. So the point here is to dispel the seeming confusion about what the PBR theorem is supposed to prove. It's not trying to refute the Born rule or show quantum mechanics as non-probabilistic which would not be consistent with a logical quantum.